Hey, welcome back to uh, our channel here in today's video is going to look different. As you can see, we're in a different end of the room. We're just kind of all around different right now. Um, you know, it's kind of a cloudy day here in northern Colorado, and it got me thinking of why not flip the room? So as you can see in our room here, we are different. It's just all around different. We're consoles on this side of me instead of that side of me. And, you know, there's a hallway behind me that wasn't there. Well, actually, it's always been there. Just no one's ever seen it in our videos. But basically, today's video is about um, why we have decided to do what we've done here. We flipped the room completely. We had console over there. Now it's over here. Couch was here. Couch is over there. Speakers are on the ledge here. That's an interesting story. Why they're there. And we'll also go into why we've also just completely changed everything. So, welcome to today's rant and story time. So story time. We started uh, this endeavor a few about a week ago. Uh, I had a buddy of mine come over. He wanted to hear the new PMCs because uh, he was getting a set and he wanted to hear these ones before he got his and then he was going to compare it to how his sound. Um, he's got bigger ones. He's got, they're, they're bigger. Anyways, so he came over, he's listening and we're listening to some songs that he knew, some songs I knew, you know, kind of just going back and forth, listening to mixes I've done in Luna, mixes that other people have done in Spotify and iTunes and all, or I guess it's Apple Music. And all these different sources and he's like you know i hear a weird resonance happening and i was like okay and I'm like what do you think it is and he basically t was thinking it was about 160 160 hertz which is your low kind of your low mids somewhere in through there is what he was thinking i was like okay well, let's let's analyze it real quick so we ran some pink noise real quick and analyzed it and sure enough there was a resonant frequency happening at 160 hertz and we thought well maybe it's the console you know, consoles will mess with your speaker frequency sometimes. So I was like, okay, well, that could be it. So, you know, we threw some blankets over it and some pillows, and that helped a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to deal with it. So I got um, my sound ID out from what used to be Sonar Works. I got that out and I was like, well, just, I'll just do the room and we'll be good. So I did that. I did that the day after he left. And I was like, okay, this sounds all right ran some mixes, ran some more stuff, more tests, more frequency analyzation. And I was like, man, it, it sucked too much of that 160 out and it's kind of surrounding frequencies. I thought, you know, I'll just kind of go in there and I'll tweak it to make it better. So I tweaked it. And it, it got better, but it just, it sounded a little weird to me. It sounded wonky for lack of a better term. So I was like, okay, well, that doesn't help. Let's see. Well, no, we'll just keep messing with it. And I spent a few more days messing with it and running mixes and testing things. And my kids were like, Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop making those weird noises. Because uh, Sonar, Sonar works sound ID. When it goes, it, it pings and makes weird noises so it can analyze the room. And then I just still can't get it quite what I wanted it to sound like. So I was like, okay. You know, we'll look one morning and I thought, what if I were to put the speakers on the ledge that they're on right now? There's a ledge right here. And it's actually the ledge that goes down to my basement. Um, and I thought, I wonder what that would sound like. You know, I've, I've got the ISO pucks. I bought those trying to get, see if that would help. That helped a little. It's like, well, what if I put them on the ISO pucks and I put them on the ledge? And don't put any, like, just hook straight into them with, like, an aux cable. You know, headphone jack kind of thing. And I played some music. I'm like, oh, they sound much better. They sound, like, significantly better here than they did in the bay window that is where they kind of sat because there's a bay window over here that's what's letting all this natural light in here right now um there's a it was weird i was like okay so i got all this all this kind of going on in my head and and i was like okay it sounds better here what if we flopped through them? so i unplugged everything i unplugged all the racks console computer everything and swapped it and set everything up set the speakers up and then but didn't set up this console quite yet. I was like, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to put the console back and I'll kind of just mess with it. So I did it, ran Sonar ID, uh, you know, Sonar Works Sound ID again. It's a great piece of software, and it gave me a different Hertz, but not at what it was. The original Hertz at 160 in the bay window was somewhere in the 15 to 20 dB spike at 160 over there in the window, and I was like, that can't happen. That's that's too much. 
So I, th I was like, okay. We put him over here. I still have a little bit of spike at 140, but it's not enough of a spike that it's like bothering me. Like the speakers actually sound somewhat flat. And even Sonar I Works Sound ID, when I ran it on this end of the room with the cloud, we did move the cloud. It's directly, actually, it's kind of over here, kind of over, directly over the desk, because I wanted to kill any reflections that would come off the desk. And with everything, I was like, much better frequency response. Everything was more flat. Uh, even the bumps within the speakers themselves, because it's got, you know, their kind of curve, wasn't terrible. Like, it was pretty good. Like, just on its own, without so sound ID. And I would, I kind of, after doing all of its pings and stuff again, and its, its analyzation, I noticed that even with it on and off, there wasn't a huge change like it was over here in the window. Like, it was that way. In the bay window, it, it was like night and day difference with sound ID. It was like, okay, it's on, now it's off, now it's on, now it's off, now it's on. And I was like, I don't hear a huge difference between the two. I hear a little bit of a difference, but not a huge one. So I was like, okay, that's, that's good. So I'm going to leave it the way we are now. I have a console over here, a couch over there. Couch is working as a giant bass trap, so FYI, if you ever need big bass trap in your studio and you can't afford one, go find you a cheap couch. Couches make great bass traps. And uh, um, that's kind of it in the long run. Um, we're going to keep wiring stuff up. We're going to keep working on mixes and stuff. And, you know, that's kind of what I know in the long run. Um, this is a little bit longer video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. You know, let me know the problems you guys have had with your rooms and how you fixed them. I'd love to know. Um, I'm always looking like, how do people fix them? Did you, know, did you have more treatment? Did you flop your room? Did you just do different things? And um, I'm gonna have my buddy come back out. Maybe we'll do a, a collaborative video on the differences of like what he thought over here and what he thinks of over here now. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm gonna have to get some more people in here to see what they think and how they think it sounds. So, but for today's video that is kind of it there's not much more to it uh, like i said i'm gonna keep running some tests and stuff and keep wiring things up and and kind of just go from there and see how well this works i do like it because my live room is just on the other side of this little half wall here um it's great i can look right into the live room if there's somebody there um if i've got people in there i can see them um i don't have to like turn around and hey how you doing you know, i can just kind of stand up okay cool and then i can sit back down um, so it's got some workflow benefits, um, but you know, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and you know what? Get you a studio dog. They're fun to have around. So hit that like and subscribe and the bell for notifications and we'll see you next time.